All right, uh, welcome back everyone. So in this video, uh, let's solve this question. Uh, allow me boxes, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's a port forces question. It's an 800 mark question. So it's an easy question, frankly. Uh, but we have to start somewhere, right? So, Kjof is busy after his last contest. As now he has to deliver many, like, this is probably a tease, sort of a tease all over the world. He stored them inside in boxes and each of which has numbered AI written on it. He wants to sort them in non-decreasing order. So what non-decreasing order is basically like sort of ascending order only uh, based on the number. However, as machine works in a strange way, it can only reverse the sub area of boxes of length at most k. Okay, fine. Find if it's possible to sort the boxes using any number of reverses. Okay, so the reversal operations are infinite. You can do any number of reverses. Okay, fine. So reversing a sub area means, of course, reversing a sub area means uh, if you have an array, we just pick one sub area out of it and then just reverse it. Okay, that's what it is written. So here is input. The input is the first line contains a uh, single integer t. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. The number of test cases. And each test case consists of two lines. Okay, the first line is containing integer n and k. Okay, n is size of an array and k is the maximum reverse, the maximum size of sub array that we can reverse at a time. The second line contains n integers, of course, our array. Fine. So for each test case, print ds, yes, uh, if the array can be sorted in non-decreasing order or no, otherwise. So what this uh, question is saying is like, we have an array of size n, we have an array of size n, and at a time, uh, we can reverse the sub array of maximum, the sub array of maximum size k. Okay. And this can be done a number of times. Okay. This reverses, so there is no limit on it. And uh, fine. Maximum, okay, it's not like, it. also it's not fixed like we have to pick a sub of k. At most, the sub size can be k. So if, uh, for example, k is 2, then at a time, uh, we can uh, reverse the sub area of uh, like size 1 doesn't make sense, right? But sub of size 2, right? Sub of size 2 uh, or, yeah, I guess there's a bad example. So if we have uh, k equals to 3, if you have k equals to 3, then at a time we can uh, pick a sub of size 2 and reverse it. Or pick a sub of size 3 and reverse it. Okay, that's also possible. Or maybe don't reverse it. Fine, so mm, let's uh, let's uh, see some test cases and make sense of the question. Okay, fine. So basically our input has n, k and the array itself, right? So n is the length of the array and uh, k is uh, basically the maximum size of the sub array that you can reverse at a time. The important thing to note here is like we can make any number of reverses. We can make any number of reverses. That's an important factor here. Fine, uh, I've, I've taken the input test cases from the code versus itself. So, first, the uh, array size is 3 and k is 2. So, maximum size of sub array that we can reverse is 2. So, here, anyway, uh, the array is sorted. So, anyway, it will be yes, right? It will be yes only. So, this will be yes. Yes, we can do it. Then, uh, n equals to 4, k equals to 3. Fine. Okay, let's see. So, is there a way to do it? So, of course, the sorted version will be 3, 10, 14, 8, 30. Can we do it, right? Uh, let's see. So maybe, since the maximum size of array that I can reverse at a time is size 3, maybe I can just reverse this part. So it will be, maybe, let's say, these two I'm reversing. So 3, 10. And then after that, I can reverse these two. So 14, 8, 30. Cool. Okay. Now, the, okay, then, fine. So this is also yes, right? This also can be reversed. Cool. So let's see one more example, n equals to 2, so only size size of the array is 2 and k is 1. Now if k is 1, like, it just means uh, you cannot do anything to the array, right? So if k is 1, it's obvious, right? If the maximum size of the array that you can reverse at a time is 1, then you cannot do anything to the array. So in that case, it will print yes only if the array is sorted. This is an important factor here, like this is an edge case, right? Since uh, k can be at least 1, and at most uh, 100. So... One important factor that we noticed is if k is equals, if k is 1, then array has to be sorted, right? Array has to be sorted. Right? If array k equals to 1, then array has to be sorted. Array needs to be sorted. Otherwise, anyway, it will be no. Okay? Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if k equals to 1, we found out the array is sorted, then only we can mm, actually sort there in non-decreasing order or maybe increasing order, right? So... What if k is not equals to 1 then? Okay. So k is not equals to 1. What can be the worst case? Like, uh, 
like usually in this question like think about like what is the worst case so what i'm saying is here n equals to 4 right so n equals to 4 what is the worst possible area that you can get the worst possible area is like the area decreasing order right or non increasing order so it will be 830 830 uh, 14 10 and 3 okay 830 10 14 and 3 and what can be the values of k See, if anyway, if I give you a k a very big value, maybe equals to n, then anyway, you can reverse it, right? If I give you k equals to 4, then anyway, you can just reverse the array once and your job will be done. So, I'm thinking about the worst case. So, if I want to think about the worst case, think about the worst possible value of k. It can be 1. But we have already found out that if k equals to 1, array has to be sorted in a, like, array has to be sorted, right? Because you cannot reverse, uh, like, if k equals to 1, we will be able to, like, get the array in sorted order. Only if uh, there is also error was ordered uh, initially. So k equals to 1 is the case we figured out. So let's try k equals to 2. Okay, this is the worst possible case, right? So n equals to 4, let's say n equals to very big number. And k is just 2. Can we get our array? Uh, can we sort in a way that it becomes an ascending order or basically a uh, non-decreasing order? Right, so let's see if we can do it. So k equals to 2, right? So what can I do? Yeah, can I sort them? Okay. So what I want to do is, important thing is, I can do reversal any number of times. So k equals to 2, right? So first, I have to make this 3 come in the be beginning, right? So let's say, first I do this. Then, I do this. So 3 will come here. Okay. So, like this, and then 830 is here. And 3 can come here. So 3, 830, 14, 10. Right? So now 10 has to go to the second place. So... 10 will take turns 8.30 3 so we are seeing a pattern here right so if, if k is at least 2 k is at least 2 we would be able to uh, we would be able to bring our edit in sorted form after uh, any number of reverses so I don't need k to be a very big value that's the main idea of this question if k is 1 it has to be sorted otherwise you cannot uh, you cannot sort the error in all decreasing order but if k is even if k is at least 2, k is at least 2, we can get an answer, right? Like, in the worst case, like, you can bring this 3 1 by 1, right? In the first. And after 3 has come, you can bring this 10 1 by 1 to the first place. So that is the main idea. So, uh, if I want to write the pseudo code of this algorithm, like, the question would be, for a test case, if k is 1, if k is 1, and array is sorted, if array is sorted, if array is sorted, is when array is sorted, then print yes, then print yes, okay, else print no, okay, but if k is, like k relies from 1 to 100, right, so if k is not 1, if k is not 1, anyway, we'll be able to get the array in sorted, okay, we can bring the element one by one. Fine, so that's that. So this is the code. This is the final code. So T is the number of test cases. Fine. So this is the taking the input of N and K. And the main thing that you should be concerned is this part, right? If K is 1 and the array is not sorted, then print no. Otherwise, every time it is possible. So this is the case when K is greater than equals to 2. We know that if even if K is just 2, we can bring the array in a, a non-decreasing order after some operations. So yeah, uh, that's that. I don't think I have anything to discuss with this, uh, so fine.